how to use canva content planner hey guys welcome back today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can schedule all of your social media content with canva so let's get into it now canva is a free to use platform that allows you to create a lot of different cool and amazing illustrations it lets you do a lot of design work illustrative work and Canva can also be used for quite a lot of different things like website building and some basic video editing as well. So it's like an all-in-one platform. It's super easy to use. Plus, the fact that it is so easily accessible is what is helping everyone to be able to upgrade their content. Now, Canva also has a pro version. The feature that we're talking about today, which is the content planner, is something that you only get with the pro version so uh, you have a free trial for 14 days as well if you want to just try it out and after that you have canva pro which is 54 dollars 99 for one year or you can subscribe to it monthly for around uh six dollars and fifty cents so uh it's totally up to you i do think that for six dollars you get quite a lot of different uh features the fact that you get one terabyte of storage you can remove all kinds of backgrounds you have visual identity uh, you have millions of premium elements and graphics that you can add you also have a lot of stock images and stock videos you get access to as well as the fact you get ai powered tools like instant background removers for videos as well as images you also have magic right beat sync and so much more so let's get into the content planner which is a pro feature on canva so to get started with the Canva content planner, simply go on ahead on to your Canva, you know, dashboard and you will have to upgrade your account. Obviously, if you don't have a upgraded account, then you will not be able to get started with a content planner. And once you have logged on to your specific um, dashboard, whatever your dashboard is on the left, you have your little navigation panel. In this navigation panel, you can see your app section. You want to click on that, and then you can see your content planner over here. You see this crown icon. This represents that it is a pro only feature. So we're gonna click on that, and now you guys can see a basic calendar. Now, what this calendar has is some of the basic world events, and I haven't linked this calendar or set it up previously. So let's get started into setting it up. Now, it is seemingly just a calendar, but what you can do is quite different with this. So first off, you guys can see that on the top, you have these little learn and play options. You can close those, but you have a bunch of different basic events marked. And then what you can do is you can also filter out events. So you can add the type of events you want to see. So it could be social media posts or any other kind of event that you have added. Now, if you click on add new on the top right over here, if it's a post or a event. Now, some of you might wonder how can you schedule your posts in this if it's just for writing down events like a calendar? Well, for that, you have to connect your social media account. And to do that, just open up the learn and play section. And then you will see this section over here called connect social accounts. So you want to click on that and then you can see the different accounts you can link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my specific um, social media account. You can do a Facebook page, a Instagram page, Twitter, Facebook group, Pinterest, LinkedIn, LinkedIn page, or you can just click on create profile and you can just uh, connect any kind of account. So for example, let's connect our Instagram business. So, or I'm going to connect with Facebook. I think that's gonna be a little easier for us right now. So I'm just logging in with Facebook over here and I'm choosing my uh, Jimmy's Coffee Shop as the page and I will just click on connect. I will click on done and I will link Canva to Facebook. So you wanna make sure you are giving all your permissions so you're able to automatically post as well. Now, you can do this with Tumblr as well, LinkedIn, Pinterest, a Facebook group, and you can link multiple different social media pages as well. So you can click on connect Facebook once more. You're just going to log into your account and then you can link a different page. So that is another option as well. Now, once you have linked your chosen social media account, you will be able to see all of your uh, open dates. And let's say I want to schedule a post for National Hamburger Day on the 28th. 
So you guys can see if I just click on over here, I can select my channel. So it's my Facebook page. And then I can choose my page from over here. I can add a caption and choose any of my recent designs or click on create a design and get started with a custom design as well. You can even write your captions for Instagram, Facebook as well. Or you can even select multiple uh, different items. Now, you can even do bulk posting over here. For that, you can just click on add new on the top, add new post, and then just post them over here. Add your dates manually from the top right over here. Add your times as well, and then you will be able to basically add any post that you want. So let's get started with setting up one specific post. So let's say for our for Jimmy's coffee shop, we have a sale on a coffee and a burger. So I'm going to click on this, select Jimmy's coffee shop, click on create a design, click on custom size, change that from pixels to inches. And let's say I just want this to be a 20 by 20. And you have a bunch of different template designs you can choose. I'm choosing a random design. And then I can just choose one of these templates. I can search for a sale template or maybe a food template so yeah i think i'm gonna go with a food template like this like this we have this so i can just edit this over here so i'm just going to resize the text in this template it says hamburger day so we're just going to make sure this is what it's going to look like over here i'm just going to add it like so just customizing the appearance of my little text that i've added over here once I have added my text on the top, I can add my own uh, brand name. So Jimmy's Coffee Shop, and I'm going to put Jimmy's on the top and then on the bottom. I have this and I can add my promo info as well. But once I've completed my design, I don't have to really even save it. I can then go into my content planner, just click on over here and click on my post. I will be able to see it in my recent designs. You guys can see it's currently being generated, so I'm just going to link this and you can select multiple different um posts as well so we're going to click on over here select my channel select our post so you guys can see now i can write my caption as well and then you can just save it as a draft if you're uncertain on when you want to post it or just click on schedule over here and then it will be scheduled for your specific date and time that you have added obviously you want to optimize the date and time for your posts and then you'll be able to see it on this calendar now you can also create other types of events it doesn't have to be a social media post let's say i create like three social media posts advertising a sale and on the fourth post uh, on the fourth day i want a event the event would be maybe the sale so i don't want to post for that i actually want an event so for that you can just click on the plus icon select your channel and this will directly lead you to a new post but if you want to create an event you're going to have to go into the top of your content planner on the top right click on event and then a new event would be added and then you can create the specific date over here let's say we have this date which might be sale and then you can add the description as well and then you can uh, obviously you will have your basic event added and this is just going to help you track your events you can't really do uh, a automation with this but it still is a useful feature to have to see all of your events and content in one place so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video